Hi, in this video I want to talk about my Panasonic problem. So I have the Panasonic GX8 camera right here, which I love as a camera, it's the best camera I've ever owned. I was originally a huge Nikon fan. Um, I've got the Nikon D5500 here and I love it, you know, I used to love it. It was, you know, the best camera. I used to have the, the older one before this, but then when I wanted something a bit, little bit more portable and I thought, do I invest my money in a Nikon again or do I go into something different? And now because I do like to travel, I decided to go with a cropped for a micro four thirds sensor, which then brought me to this. It was between this and the GH4. Now the GH4 is a lot more expensive, or it was at the time. Uh, now they've announced the GH5, it's come down in price. But when I was looking, it was either looking into the, is it the D500? I can't quite remember now, which does 4K, or the GX8. And bearing in mind that these two have got kind of similar lenses on, this has got the 50mm, this has got the 20mm, um, you can definitely tell that the profile is very different. Uh, it is a lot more compact. This is slightly more lightweight uh, than this camera, but this camera has a lot more going for it. So for video, I thought, great, I'll get one of these. So I started using it for video and it was all good. And the shots I was getting were really, really smart. But then I plugged it into my computer, put on my headphones, and I realized that the audio was awful. Um, it was flat, it, was, uh, it had all sorts of noise. Um, and so I checked the cables, I, I bought about three or four of these 2.5mm uh, to 3.5mm adapters um, and I just realised that actually no, it's, it's the camera that's doing it. So this is now running directly through the GX8. I've got the Rode Video Mic Pro on the same settings as it was on the camcorder, so zero decibels with the high pass filter on. And as you can tell, it's just loud. And I can even see in the viewfinder, the audio levels keep on peaking. And I have the audio set to one. Now, if I do set the Rode Video Mic Pro to minus 10, um, it's too quiet, it's, I have to boost the noise. Um, if I turn the volume on the camera up to four, it's just really distorted. So it's, it's a catch 22, I can't win. Now, if I take this outdoors, it's even worse. So I, everything peaks, everything's really loud, you can't pick up any of the finer details in the audio. Um, it's just pretty useless. And just so you can see, I'm using the latest firmware, which is version 2.2. And here are my microphone levels. So microphone level adjustment one, and you only actually get four. That's all you get. And I've got the noise canceller on off. So I emailed Panasonic about it and they said uh, that it's not anything that they've ever heard of before. So I sent them some raw video clips. They're now analysing that and they're going to come back to me. But I wanted to make you aware if you are someone who's looking to buy one of these because the last thing you want is to get one of these as an amateur videographer um, or a blogger and then realise that you're, you're having to buy another audio device because by the time you bought one of these, a decent lens for it, and, you know, a Rode VideoMic Pro, um, it's going to cost you well over a thousand pounds or a couple of thousand dollars. So I wanted to make you aware. Now I am going to keep on top of this. Um, I'm going to email them again on Monday, see where they are, see if an update does come out. Um, and if it does, then I'll do a follow-up video. But until then, please subscribe.